everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys like the opening. As you can see, I am going to be a part of a five artist collaboration. We hope that you tune in to our collaboration on June 20th. I believe they're gonna post right around noon. We'll get you a uh, definite time when those videos are gonna post. And if you'll do us a favor and show each of the artists some love, subscribe to their channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is posted. So we're very excited. We're all gonna do different pours. Um, I myself am gonna be doing a Dutch pour. So we really hope that you uh, tune in. So today I am going to be doing a smaller piece, a 12 by 24 canvas. I'm gonna do a split. It's gonna be white and blue. Um, it's a custom made blue that I had just mixed up some paints together. It's more of a, 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 a aqua kind of a color. Um, and then I'm gonna use one, two, three, four, five other colors. Well, actually four colors plus the, I'm gonna pour some of the uh, blue that I mixed up into the mix as well. So once I get you down on the canvas, I will explain more about the composition and the colors. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a canvas I had scraped. I didn't like how it came out. So I'm gonna do another split with it. We're gonna do the turquoise color at the top. We're gonna do a white down here on the bottom. Um, and then the colors we're gonna use today, we're gonna use Amsterdam's red violet and this here is the blue it's kind of like this already we're going to use creative inspirations yellow okra be an interesting color so this is a big experimentation i have no idea how these colors are going to turn out on this canvas i'm using artist lofts neon pink which is a transparent color so what i did is i went ahead and added some amsterdam titanium white to this so it's going to be a nice vibrant pink <clears throat> excuse me and then i'm going to be using amsterdam's thalo blue and we're going to top it off with some deco art 24 karat gold so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a split here just right across the middle and we're going to do the blue up top white at the bottom and i'm going to pour the colors straight across i'm not going to go at any different uh angles or zigzags or anything i'm going to make sure i use a lot of paint so i make sure i get enough paint on here to really fan out and i'm also going to do a traditional dutch pour so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my colors down here in the middle and then i'm going to put some of the blue up here and some of the white here or actually i might reverse it i might put some white up here and some blue down here we'll see it's all a big challenge so all right, what I'm gonna do is get this poured out and get going. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, just about even here. Wow, that's really not straight now, is it? Okay, just so I have an idea where to pour. And I'm also going to probably use my fingers to get the line down good. There we go. I'll have to get my sides too. And we'll get the white, actually. All right. And I may find I need to touch up my sides after we get the colors on, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay out the colors straight across. Um, I'm going to use so let's put out this red violet first this is a beautiful color um, let's lay out some of this 
just a dribble. Come on. I should have put a little bit of this in the squeeze tube. That would have helped. That's all right. All right, this is the first time I'm using this color, this yellow okra. So we're gonna see how well this blends with these colors. Nice, it's a pretty color. The pink. Now this is the semi, this is the transparent color. So it's gonna be very curious to see how this come out and it's like got a little flow of troll still in there always cover your bottles there we go because that's transparent I'm going to use a little extra so I want some of that pink to really come in there Phthalo blue. And 24 karat gold. gonna do is I'm gonna give this uh, yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some white here I was gonna do opposite I was gonna pour the white up at the top there but I decided not to there we go and I'll pour some of this here Torch this for air bubbles. Now we're going to blow the white over a little bit here. Blue back over. See if anything happens. See some cells here popping, mixing well. Okay, so the pink actually showed up, so it wasn't quite transparent, but so that white helped. Just need to play a little bit with the composition here. Get some of that color out of there. Wow, very nice coloring. These colors went well.
Man, this is beautiful. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this alone. As I say all the time, I'm gonna leave this alone, and I never do. Okay. I think I'm going to stop fiddling, leave this alone, see how it settles, but I really, really like this a lot. Let's torch this for some air bubbles. Got a few that's popped up here. This is just great. I'm loving this a lot. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to take you down. I'll let you see this wet result. And then, of course, once it gets dry, we'll uh, put it up on the wall. So off camera, I'm going to come through and I'm going to remember to scrape the edges around the bottom. That way the paint doesn't keep flowing over. And uh, like I said, I will uh, I'm not going to fidget. Leave it alone. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. I'll bring you down off the track, bud. I um, traditionally don't use the base colors to blow over my poured colors and then blow out. I just usually pour out the colors and then blow. So this is, you know, your traditional Dutch pour. So I wanted to try to do something different from what I normally do, but bring you in here so you can see up close. Loving the color, the lacing. You can see all you can see the shimmer already from the 24 karat gold. Um, yeah, that's actually the only metallic. Didn't use any iridescence, which is very unusual for me. So that is the piece. So when this dries, I will get it up on the wall and let you see the dried result. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. All right, here's the dried result, folks. I'll bring you in close. This really turns out beautiful. I'm happy with this coloring. Um, using this neon pink, which was a transparent color, which I was really shocked she came through. Um, let me see if I can fix the lighting here. There we go, that's a little better. Um, and doing this in the tradi traditional Dutch pour sense by pouring the base color over the poured colors really came out nice. I like the little cell action. Um, I'm loving this color combo, this teal green as a base color. And you, it's funny, you can you actually, when you see right here, you can see some of the color under the white Maybe I should have blown that a little bit so you can get some more color out of it, but I kind of like it the way it is. It's got like a, a, an undertone of uh, deepness there uh, under the white. So then you can also see this uh, 24 karat gold really popping through. So, all right, guys, that is the dried piece. I'm going to have to put a coat of crystal resin on this. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to see the shine from the crystal resin. All right, guys, I will uh, see you in the next video. As always, my pieces are available for purchase. So just email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post a new video and any new content. All right, everyone, have a great day. See you in the next video.